गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सौरभ जोशी वर्किंग एज अ हेड एंड असोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल एंड एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बी इन एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग एम टेक इन एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड पी फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्स विच इज अ which is a, a basic or cardinal need of environmental engineering that is nothing but environmental chemistry and microbiology so under this the broader objective of this course is the purpose of the course is imparting fundamental knowledge in environmental chemistry and microbiology under the various objective understanding various concept rather basic concept of environmental chemistry and microbiology application of environmental chemistry and microbiology and organizing it for the treatment plant understanding the working principle of different instrument related with the environmental engineering so we are going to see today first lesson is fundamentals of chemistry as in environmental engineering the prerequisite for water supply engineering waste water engineering advanced water waste water engineering and industrial waste treatment is nothing but the environmental chemistry and microbiology so before going for the actual concepts related with the chemistry and microbiology we need to touch some of the basic concept of the general chemistry that we are going to see today so there are some atoms molecule and it consists of the nuclei we'll see a diagrammatic representation of it so at the bot at the core there is a nucleus which consists of protons and neutrons combinedly called as a, a, a nucleus then there are different types of electronic shells in 12th you might have learned the hybridization it is a mixing and recasting of atomic orbital having same spins of the electron maximum symmetry and minimum orientation in a space when they overlap on each other so there are some of the outermost orbits or outer orbits over which the electrons are revolving so this is a basics of the atom now we are going to see some of the things related with it what is atomic weight so atomic weight is a ratio of average mass of a chemical elements atoms to the some standard it is a ratio of uh, average mass of chemical element to the standard that is called as atomic weight further it is followed by gram atomic weight what is gram atomic weight gram atomic weight of an element refers to the quantity of element in a gram correspond to the atomic weight then it comes to the atomic number atomic number of an element is number of protons present in a nucleus of each atom of that element okay so i have understood what is atomic weight gram atomic weight and a atomic number atomic number is number of protons present in a nucleus then Uh, a gram atomic weight that is a corresponding weight in a grams of that atomic weight and atomic weight is a ratio of a chemical element of atom to the some standard we'll go ahead then there is a mass number mass number is defined as the total number of protons and neutrons present in an atom right so there are two important consideration is nothing but a molar solution and molar solution dear student if you see there is slightly difference r and l in a molar solution and molar solution we'll see one by one in detail what is molar solution a molar solution consists of a one formula weight i'll repeat a molar solution consists of one formula weight dissolved in enough water to make 1 liters of the solution that is important I'll, I'll i'll explain you later then molar solution a molar solution consists of one formula weight dissolved in 1 kg of water and resulting solution will be having a volume slightly excess than 1 liter now i have to take a solution in a such a way that final solution i have to make a 1 liter that is nothing but a molar solution molar solution in molar solution my final solution volume slightly excess than 1 liter that is a molar solution okay so have you got the difference between molar solution and molar solution then there is a molality molality is defined as total moles of a solute contained in a kilogram of a solvent what is solute what is solvent that i'll explain you later then molarity of a given solution is defined as the total number of moles of a solute per liter of the solution now we'll come to some basic what is solvent solvent is a substance that dissolve a solute resulting in a solution now we can see here what is a solute solute is the substance that is to be dissolved and a solvent is the substance which dissolve the solute 
I'll repeat, solute is the substance that is to be dissolved, okay, and solvent is the substance which dissolves the solute. Now, you can see over here, there is a solute is nothing but a salt, the solvent is nothing but a water, and finally, it will form a solution, okay. Now, in a, in a, in a previous slide, we have seen that molality, intentionally, I am repeating the, uh, uh, repeating this definition, molarity is defined as total moles of a solute contained in a kilogram of a solvent, right. Then there is a molarity of a given solution is defined as total number of moles solute per liter of the solution, okay. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solute dissolved in a solvent. Not necessary a uh, solute should be one, it is a mixture of more solute, so it will form a solution. My dear student, it is nothing but a prerequisite for the unit number one. Whatever, what, what are the things today we have seen is atomic number, atomic weight, gram atomic weight, then mass number, atomic number, molality, molarity, solute, solvent, solution and we have seen that at the last how the solute and solvent comes together and form a solution. So, today homework for you people is you have to recall all the definition and write it in very proper and coordinate manner. Thank you.